this video we're going to have a look at building a slightly better heat pipe to put into our solar array. These heat pipes are simpler to build, easier to maintain and an awful lot easier to put together. I'm going to take you through how I build heat pipes themselves, the manifold and the jig that I've used to put the manifold together and then a quick look at what the system will look like. Key component to this system is a 22 to 15 mil compression fitting that you can pick up at your local plumbing store. The slight issue that you have with these compression fittings when you receive them is that they have a little lip inside them that stops the 15 millimeter pipe from passing straight through the fitting to the other side. We've got to get rid of that little lip so that we can push the pipe all the way through so that we can turn it into a heat exchanger. Good news is that there are some excellent tools available on the web that allow you to core out a little bit of metal. And if we use one of those in the end of a power drill, we can easily get rid of that little lip, which I tell you is an awful lot simpler than using a manual file. So much quicker, so much easier, and job done in a matter of seconds. Now we have our end caps on each of our pipes. We've got to feed through the 22 to 15 mil adapters so that, that we can get them plugged into the exchanger. We just feed the, the coupler up from the bottom, we filed out the middle so they feed through. Now we can get the 22 bit adapter on, top level coupler, and then the T joint. Effectively, that's going to be the element that exchange, exchanges heat. That's the type of heat pipe inside the coupler. All put together, much simpler, much better. Now we're going to have a look at how we build the manifold itself. For this, we're just going to take a bit of 2x4 or a bit of CLS as they call it over here in the UK. We're going to find the centre line, measure along that, and then in the UK we're using soda water or mineral water bottles. Those are 10 centimetres in diameter and that's the key dimension. So we basically mark out 10 centimetres and then we're in a position to drill out um, the jig so that we can solder up the solar manifold. To drill out the manifold jig, I used a 25mm spade bit. That will make sure that we can get in the 22mm pipe with just a little bit of slack. Now we're back in the repetitive part of cutting lots of bits of pipe to the same size. So this is just a little trick using a set square, making sure that we can get all the bits cut to the same length. Now we have all our little bits of pipe cut. We're going to solder them into our T pieces and then we can fit these into the jig that we've made. One point to note here is that I used a little off-cut pipe underneath the T-pieces just to make sure that the manifold pipes were poking up a little bit so we didn't burn the wood too much. Makes it an awful lot easier to solder as well. Now we have our manifold all built with all the T-pieces ready to receive the heat pipes. This time round we've set up a little bit of a production line and we're basically using a roofing torch to boil off about 20 mil of water in each of the 15 mil pipes. 20 mil of water is around about 10% of the volume of the pipe. I've covered that in one of my other videos as well. And effectively we just heat the pipe up until we've got steam coming out the top and then we cap it off. This way we end up with vapour phase um, inside the pipe which has a much lower boiling point which is the whole purpose of the heat pipe itself. It makes it a much much faster heat conductor which is exactly what we want for our solar array. Mm -hmm. 
now we can connect all of our heat pipes into the manifold itself and we're good to go. All that's left to do now is collect a stack of mineral water bottles, we're going to need like 55 for this array, so it might be a while until I can post it all up and show you how it works. <laughs> 